this place was recommended by the hotel to come for breakfast. So you get a noodles. I'm having a fish soup. Peter's having chicken curry. And you can see there's a few feet in there. I can see a few feet. And things that look like liver. And then on the table, we've got all these different herbs. Fresh. Fresh herbs and all the different garlic pickles. We're on our way to Bantry Ray, but he's snuck this other temple in on us, so I'm afraid I can't tell you the name of this till I look in my book, but it's definitely Bantry something else. From our experience yesterday, we know that this is a staircase, but I was saying to Peter, the average European would just walk past this, not realising it's a staircase, because it doesn't look like one. That's, that's your way out. You never know when you go up those staircases whether it's actually leading somewhere. Sometimes it just leads into a little room uh, and you've got to go, you've got to backtrack and other times it leads into a complex. You never quite know. There's no, there's no arrows. There's no signs. Don't guide you around anywhere. It's just. Uh... Oh my goodness me! You've got. This is the thing you get these tour groups doing projects. They've all got clipboards and they're obviously doing some sort of quiz or something. They were telling us yesterday, all these blocks of stone, it's limestone, they've got holes drilled into them. They were transported by elephant 60 miles to get here. Now an elephant can only carry so much at a time. I just don't know how they've done it. It's quite dark in here, but the really lovely carved um, columns here, two rows at a time on windows. Hello. This fridge, man. Oh, you know, we've got a wooden fridge. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. A flute. A flute. Do you think I need a flute? No, I don't think that you can give for your. Oh, my friend needs a flute. Bracelet like that. Oh, no. That is me in the room. Right there. Ten one dollar. Ten one dollar. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> oh, we're all right, thank you. The new edition. No, new we're package. all right, thank you. No, thank you. Too many guidebooks. No, it's all right. No, I don't need a scarf, thank you. No, it's all right. <laughs> No, thank you. Only two dollars for one. It's a great bargain, but I just don't need one. You buy one, okay? We're riding through the countryside. There's lots of big. Oh dear. Lots of big houses. Not sure. You know when they have a nice house between a people thing and right here? Very bad. Yeah. in red just chewed a load of leaves, spat 
it all over that woman's head and now she's putting makeup on her and this is because the lady's sick she's gonna make her better making it making it beautiful Video. Right, we've come to the butterfly centre, and this is our guide. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, UK. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. And he's explaining to us the difference between butterflies and moths. Mm -hmm. And the name of this butterfly? Come on, budding. Come on, budding. Yeah, budding. Is it all right there? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take some pictures. Oh, there's a few in there, isn't there? Wow. Hey. Seen, did you look underneath them? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Got all the... Okay, so Whoa. right, we're at the butterfly that. park, and Peter's going to go into this cage. It's like a DIY thing that you can sort of help yourself. And then, That's what we found. he's got a giant stick insect. <laughs> he's lost a leg, unfortunately. It's turned itself into a stick. <laughs> it's big, isn't it? It's massive. Take your other hand away. I'm just a bit worried. That yeah. It's like fall. Like fall. It's a lady. Yeah. It's a good place, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we've arrived at Bantre Sre, which is one of the temples. Um, but they've got quite a lot of rice grain around here. Don't know whether you've seen loads of um, like um, dragonflies fluttering about as well. The rice is just starting to grow. And I've got some new trousers. Janice has got lovely blue trousers on. I picked them, didn't I? Yeah. Me faves them. To stop Mozzie's going up his skirt. Yeah. And then you've got rice fields over here as well, they're lovely, really green. Mm. This section's got a moat around it. And then you go into the sort of main body of the temple over there. You can hear all the parrots in the trees. There's quite a lot of people in this one, but uh, you can see why really. It's, uh, quite detailed and some incredible carvings on these uh, towers. So Bante Sre, they've dated it at AD 987. They're saying that the carvings are so detailed that they wonder whether women did it rather than men because they say that men won't be able to find, do it so finely. Um, they said that in 1920s a French bloke 
was uh, caught trying to steal some of the carvings. And then years later, when the French were in charge under Charles, Charles de Gaulle, this same man that had stolen um, was appointed Ministry of Culture. It's also the only temple that wasn't commissioned by a king, it was commissioned by a Brahmist. Quite nice, they've put these um, little walkways in with seats on the end and uh, viewpoints. Giant uh, water lilies. They're all over the place, they're all facing us, the sun's that way. Loads of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Right, we've come to a landmine museum, so it's going to explain all about the bombs, the mines, and some of the proceeds go to um, show you. It says the a dollar of each ticket uses to clear landmines. A dollar of each ticket supports programs in rural villages, and three dollars supports the children that live here at the museum and to pay the staff a fair salary. Very, very big bombs. There's one that's gone off. This is the man that founded the museum. He was in Khmer Rouge. He escaped to Vietnam, we were Vietnamese, um, we joint Vietnamese soldiers and then he ended up with United Nations, so he's, he's worked practically on every side and he's personally responsible for every single mine in this museum. Uh, these are all mines that are used for blowing up vehicles. I mean, I can't give you all the statistics because we've got headphones on and we've, you know, we're learning as we go. It's saying that one in every 300 people in the whole of Cambodia has been affected by a landmine. and things like that, it's, uh, it's every man for himself. <laughs> These bridges are hilarious because everyone just fires out from everywhere. I thought for today. And we're in one of the uh, normal sort of temples in the centre of Siem Reap. It's uh, very impressive.
everything's manicured, like little gardens and it's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. It's warm. Mm, this is really warm headband. today. Yeah, Janice has got a new headband on that she got for her birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't done a happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. I've got four cards, I've got two drinks mats, twenty dollars off my mum that I'm gonna to spend today, mum and dad. And a hairband. Yeah. It's really beautiful here and yet um Lonely Planet have not put it in as a place to go and see them reap. They've put five temples and not this one which is very strange because it's probably one of the best preserved ones we've seen I mean everything's painted up I can't understand why they've not included it don't know if you'll be able to make this out but it's like Rudolph uh, Rudolph made out at Privet you've got four of them <laughs> quite cute I like this top with the for the uh, your top, you know, with the biros and the zips and everything. <laughs> it's a very look at his top. Yeah. He's, he's being shy now. He was all right a minute ago. <laughs> We've just been chatting with the monks, and they let us have our photograph taken with them, and they were very apologetic that they haven't got a present for my birthday. That were nice. And then we've got all this beauty, and all of a sudden we've got this man who's having his innards eaten by vultures. And uh, he's got boggly eyes and his tongue hanging out. And you've got all really nice stuff around. It must have very, very recently been repainted because all the gold is so shiny. And these panels, it's a bit like the first temple we went to, they go right down to the bottom. All the way around the story. I mean, I can't read the story because it's in their language, but... So we found some information in English and what it is, the story behind it is that there was a Buddha, uh, sorry, there was a, a monk travelling by boat um, begging for food and his boat got attacked by two sharks and the boat fell in half and half of the boat ended up where we're standing now. So because he survived the shark attack, he built the temple. So Peter's got a cricket in his hand and in the centre of the picture is a silkworm. These started off as lovely like muffins, the parmesan and olive muffins. One is silkworm, one is uh, cricket. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. A little cricket job. Janice is going for a, a dabble at the silkworm. Which I hope it's better than when I did in Bangkok because I didn't like it in Bangkok. That's fine. In Bangkok, it killed my mouth with sawdust. I think it'd been overcooked. Yeah. It's got an earth then, it's slightly, it's slightly bitter flavour, but it's not unpleasant. Right, Janice is um, just getting ready for her next little piece of nosh. Right, here comes the train. <laughs> Giant water bug. Giant water bug. Mm. 
he said it's quite a challenge in this one. Is it like wood? It's fairly sort of gooey in time. I can hear it crunching. Mm. I can hear it crunching even though there's music. Mm. Quite weird in time, isn't it? Quite weird. Mm. Good? Yeah, it's not bad. So you want one more beer? One more beer, please, thanks. It's not bad. Is it a challenging texture rather than flavour? I actually know the flavour from somewhere, but I can't think what it is. Are you okay? Uh, the, the chap said to avoid the, the functional claws because he said they're a bit, a bit spiky. He said about some or other, it's, it's, it, you can live off it, but it tastes like shit. <laughs> it, it's not pleasant, it's not, it's not unpleasant, it's not pleasant. Hmm. But the face is saying it's not Yeah, yeah, it, it is really. Uh, your face isn't saying what you, your mouth is saying. <laughs> it's not the flavour though, it's the combination of texture the texture and that. with the flavours. Because it's so earthy, it's so earthy, it's so earthy. I equate yeah. it to having like if you're having a yeah if you're having a prawn or something like that. It's like eating it's like eating outside off the wing. Yeah. Mm, right. Janice is not particularly looking forward to this bit, here. and she's she's got to the last thing on the plate, which is the giant water bug. I'm not looking forward to this. The the, the, the chap the chap said that you could. Yeah. This is you can scrape it out with your knife. I think it'd be better off, but it just. Yeah, but you've spat all that stuff out, haven't you? Oh yeah, I think it's easy. I just have a taste of it. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> it's not too bad. That egg custard. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's alright. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Let's yeah. have a look down its bum. Yeah, so that's like all, basically all the stuff out of um, well, it's like what's basically a big cockroach's innards. Do you know what though? To be honest, this so it's probably nicest tasting. It's better than it? scorpion and it's better than the back end of the tarantula. Yeah. It's like custard. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Right, don't forget the rest of it. You can slurp it out, you know. No, I want to pick it out with my knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet, actually. It's like a little sweet creme brulee. Oh, she's getting into it now. I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. I'm not sure your dad's going to appreciate this, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'll leave you to that one. 